Hi friends, today we will see uh, how to create a simple app for smartwatch. So here I have been selected agent smartwatch. And uh, so why I have been selected agent smartwatch was been so agent smartwatch will support uh, Windows mobile as well as Android and iOS mobiles. So that is the main reason I have been selected the agent smartwatch. And also uh, the another main advantage of the agent smartwatch was being it is based on the dotnet micro framework micro framework so the dotnet programmer the caesar programmer can easily develop simple app for any uh, agent smartwatch so first we will see what are all the prerequisites we need to be develop our agent smartwatch applications so here i have been used with visual studio 2015 you can download the visual studio 2015 from the microsoft website so here you can see download, uh, you can download any versions and uh, I have been using the uh, enterprise level versions and next one uh, we need the .NET Micro Framework for Visual Studio 2015. So .NET Micro Framework is then, uh, is, is being used to develop the embedded applications. So here we create applications for the smart watches. So our application should be embedded to the smartwatch and display the output. So we need to be installed this .NET Micro Framework SDK in our uh, computer. So you can download the uh, SDK from this website. Uh, in my article, you can find all this link. Okay. So and uh, next one we need is Agent SDK. So we can download the Agent SDK from this Agent watches.com so agent watch is the official website of the agent smartwatch so here you can see the agent smartwatch so uh, you, you as from the agent uh, watch website we can see the benefit of agent watch now see here These are all some advantage of using the smartwatch. So as a human, we always want everything should be convenient, comfortable and easy to access. So what we do, first we have been using the phones uh, and next one we will we be using the pager and in next level we have been started using the smartphone. What smartphone makes is, uh, it makes the world in our hand. So we have the internet and we can access mail, chatting, uh, calls and uh, messaging. Everything can be done using the smartwatch. So next for the next level of smartwatch is we have is the smartwatches. So what is the advantage of smartwatch? As we seen in this video, now example we are in the meeting. So in our meeting and uh, if we have some uh, urgent call, we, if we got some urgent call from our mobile, so the mobile phone will be, uh, now example it is in our pocket. So we cannot uh, see who is calling. So in that situation, if we use the smartwatches, in our smartwatch it will display the number and uh, who, who is calling. We can check for the number uh, by attending the meeting. So it will not disturb to any other persons. We can just check for the mobile number and if it is important then we can attend the call and if it is not important then just we continue to our meeting. So like this we have many um, advantage of using the smartwatch. So here what I have done is using agent smartwatch I have created the all in one app. Here all in one app means now in one app, app I have developed five functionality. We will see one by one. So first I will run my program and then in this tutorial we will see three type of uh, application we will develop using agent smartwatch. 
one is first is how we will see how to create a simple agent smartwatch application and how to run it run it and next one we create a simple smartwatch we add a text we add image and we add different font for that and next one we will see how to create my all in one app so first i will run my all in one app so you will get more idea of that so uh, this is the i have been developed a uh, program for the all in one app so in uh, when i run the program it will be display the output in the agent emulator so this is the program which i developed for the agent smartwatch so when i run the program by default it will display my name okay so i will i have been displaying my name and in agent smartwatch we can see there are five buttons three buttons in the right side and two buttons in the left side so in right side we have the top button middle button and the bottom button so in the left side we have top button and bottom button so what i do it is now when i click the uh, each button i have created separate functionality for each button now if i click the first button i will display my name and my surname and my daughter name so here i have been using the animation so my name will be moving from left to right and my son name will be moving from uh, right to left and my daughter name will be moving from down to bot uh, top so this is the simple animation which will be display our text by uh, having some animation functionalities so we will see in program how to develop this one and next one if i click the middle button it will display the date current date and it will display the current time so here we can see our the current time and uh, the with seconds and next one if i click the third button here i will display today's plan so now i will be inserting all this uh, text in the resource file we will see one by one how to add text in resource file and how to display that so what is the advantage of here is now i will display the uh, today's plan and here i will display by time 7 am 1 pm like that i have been planned for today so what i did is now for uh, now the current time is as we all see that now example this is uh, 7 am so now it is happening time so for the current happening time i will display the alert as like a like a rectangle image in the left side and i will display the under under bar in that text so that the people if they check for the watch they will easily uh, check for the current appointment what they have now and next one what i have did is in the left but top button when I, when the user click on left top button i will display some simple animation here you can see a player is coming and he is kicking the football the ball is going now and when he touch the goal uh, goal point i will display the message as goal and this will be as a routine so every time the uh, player will come and kick the ball it will touch the goal and i will display the message as goal so now this will be as a simple animation uh, if the uh, uh, number want to be used it and next one is here a uh, uh, last button if i click it i will display the stopwatch so i will display the stopwatch and i have in display the seconds and minutes so if you want i uh, you can add more functionality i make it as very simple and a uh, uh, simple one and here i have some text animations so this is what i have been done for the agent smartwatch so this smartwatch application have fun five different functionality in one app so now if you consider if i have been wearing this watch in my hand so i have five button so i can check the uh, one for the text it will be having some animation so it will be fun and next one if i want to check for today's date and time i will click the middle button and it will display the date and time and next one if i want to check for the current today's plan and appointment i will click the last button it will display the today's plan and it will display with alert as current happening time and next one if i am boring and i want to see some animations then i will click the uh, uh, fourth button this will display some fun on like uh, some animations where the person is coming and kicking the ball and it will display a goal message and last one we have the stopwatch so these are all the functionality which i have been created for the agent smartwatch
Now we will see, start with how to create a simple agent uh, smartwatch application. So as I have been told, you first you have to install all these pre-requesters. Okay. And uh, now we create a simple application for our agent smartwatch. To create it, uh, you have to uh, create a new project in Visual Studio. Just uh, open the Visual Studio and uh, we will start one by one. And here we click new project. Okay. And in new project, uh, in left side we will be having template. In from template we select micro framework. Okay, we select micro framework. As I told that uh, uh, for developing the embedded application, I we have already installed the micro framework. So we select the micro framework, and I select the Windows application. Just name it some meaningful name, uh, meaningful like uh, now example Sonu Agent. one so select and browse for your uh, name and uh, select your folder and click ok so now that's all so if we create it, it so here we can see that uh, in Pro solution explorer we can see our uh, project has been created with program and GPI button input providers so by default the program is the main uh, form like now example if you have been developed the, the uh, csup console applications you may know about this so same like our console application this will have the void main fu main function so this function from this function the program will be starting so first it will be by default uh, when we create the program micro uh, program the header file will be by default it will be added so this is for the uh, creating our agent smartwatch applications so here we can see that uh, if we see check for the if we right click our project and properties here we can see the target framework will be as dotnet micro framework 4.3 and the uh, .NET micro framework if you click the last one here you can see the emulator emulator will be as agent emulator so when you run the program the output will be displayed in our agent emulator and also you can if you have the watch connected with your USB you can directly use the USB and you can uh, check the output in your watch agent smartwatch so presently I don't have the agent smartwatch so just I am be using the emulator so we are being using agent, agent emulator and by default the program will be added the simple text in the window to display the data from the uh, text from the resource file so in your solution explorer you can find the uh, resource if you double click on the resource file you can see that string one here it is been hello world so when, when you run this program this will display the text of hello world so now if I run the program you can see the program is been running in the agent emulator and it is displaying the text as hello world so if we want to change the some other text now example I give as Sonu my name and I save the resource file and next one here if we check for the program in the main program we are been creating the window and in this window we are being adding the text and in this text for the text content we have been adding the resource file okay so here we have been given the string one string one is our resource name if I give some other name name one example if I give name one then here we change the resource name as name one okay and I think I didn't save it so we have to save this and that's all it will be fine okay so now we have been displayed the text as my name and we add this text to the our created window 
and here the main important is by default when we create this all these things coding will be added and here we can see the add handler this is the event this event is for buttons this button is now when I, I have already told that in agent smartwatch we have five buttons so for the button click here it will be automatically created the event so here now we have the event for our button so by default it will display the event uh, button text by button uh, ID okay now example if we run this program and here we can see that output when I click the button it will display each button number okay we will be using this button number to add our different functionality so when I run that now we can see it has been displayed the name as Shano the text has been and next one we will have it when I click the button using the debug.print we can see the first button it displayed the text as 38 so this is the 38 is the button number for the right top button okay if I click the uh, right middle button it will display as 41 okay and same like this if I click bottom it will display as 40 okay so these are all the default number for this button uh, uh, button for uh, like a unique ID number so this will be 20 38 uh, this will be 41 and this will be as the 40 and this is as 37 and this will be as 39 the last button will be as 39 so now we have more clear idea of how to create a simple program for agent smartwatch so uh, this is very simple right yeah this is very simple as a CISA programmer it will be very simple for us and the next one we will see how to add a text draw text and how to add image now uh, the main thing is now uh, in the uh, uh, for agent smartwatch we can be using the tiny font tiny is a kind of font which will be used to display for our emulators uh, and watches so this font uh, in this font by default in resource file when we check the folder of resource file here we can see by default it will be added the tiny font so here the tiny font is a small so we will be we will be having only option to use this font we cannot add any other font for that so if we uh, need to add a multi, uh, tiny font mm, we can download the application for converting our font into the tiny font so now example here from this website informatics we can download this application tool this tool will convert our uh, font into the tiny font so now we can select the font and we click on convert to run is now here the tool is available so we can directly download it and uh, we can download the tool and uh, if we run the tool you can see this this will be tool will be running now here we can see all set of font so we can be using this font and we can convert it into the tiny font now example if we select the Homa font and I select bold and uh, it will display the output if I select every font it will display the tiny font output so now we select the bold and we click So I named as the homo font and if I click convert it will be displaying the path to path to save for it so now here I select and uh, in tiny font I will save this okay so now we have they created our tiny font now we can add this tiny font to our resource file and use this font to our applications so now let's see how to create a, a program to add the image and to add the text so now what I will uh, what I do is 
uh, I stop this program in same program okay so I stop this and I will delete all this okay uh, I will create a new uh, I will write new program in this so I will delete all the default coding of this smartwatch application so now we don't have any coding in this so here what we need to do is we will display the text and we will draw the text and we will add the image so first uh, I have been created the application sample so now if I run this here we can see so this program will display the text and image here I can we can see my image so uh, I will I have added uh, few more header files we will add the header files and the next one we create a bitmap so we will be drawing image and text using the bitmap in our agent smartwatch so first we create the bitmap and we create object for it so in main first we will be we, uh, we create the bitmap and we set the height and width for our bitmap okay and next one we clear it and uh, uh, for next we have done is uh, in resource file we will add the resource file open the resource file okay double click on resource and click add existing file so what I do is here uh, from here So all my articles uh, program I have developed so far and uh, I will select tiny font and I will select Tacoma font okay so now we can see here we have two font small is the default font and now this is our newly created tiny font so here what I will do is now and to, for creating the font we will create a new font from resource file we will be adding our the home of font and using the bitmap object we draw the text and here I give the name as Shonu we can give any text over here and we add the font for the text and we add the color so here it has only two default color so that is we can use white or black okay so here I use the text font as white and here we give the font location font location which should be displayed inside the agent smart watch so here I give x axis and y axis if we run it here we can see it will be loading the emulator will be first loading and after it loading completed uh, it will display the text So let's check it. So yeah, I didn't use this one. Okay. Okay, so here if after we uh, display the text, we need to use the uh, flush and we need to use the thread dot slip. If we didn't use the thread dot slip, it will not. Uh, it will just display and it will be uh, run away. So it is same like uh, in our console application. We will be using the loss line as the console dot read line to display the text. Okay, so it will automatically close the program. 
so to avoid that here we use the thread dot sleep and the next one now we have been seen i have display if i use the small font uh, we will check that uh, what i will do is i will create a new object and here i will use the default font okay that is a small font and here in our example font yes okay and here we add the same and we give font yes and for font we give if we run this here we can see i display the text in small font and the, the new font with the tahoma okay so now you have the idea of how to add the create the tiny font and how to add the tiny font as the resource file to our project and how to add draw the text in our uh, agent smartwatch uh, emulator okay so next we will see how to add the image so to add the image same like that we uh, open the resource and from resource we click add existing and from there uh, i will, will be selecting the image so i have already some image like uh, so here i will be adding my image so we can add jpg or gif type image so to add image we will click program we add the image in our resource file and next one we will be adding the image over here so i have already written the program for it just i will copy and paste and i will explain what i have done so here i will use and uh, first we create a bitmap image and uh, from resource file we get the image so our name is image name is shonu and next we will be at adding the type as jpeg so my image type is jpeg and next we use the uh, draw image so in draw image we give the x position and y position to be image display next we give the image okay bitmap image which should be draw inside our uh, smartwatch and next we here this is the uh, this four position is not actually the size of the image here it is like uh, if we give some uh, value on this it will crop the image if we give some uh, uh, now example the actual image size is 128 and 128 if i give 60 and 60 over here it will crop the image as 60 and 60 size and it will display the result so here if we run the program we can check uh, now the text and the image will be added okay so here we can see I have been displayed now text uh, with a two different font and we can see my image has been added in our smartwatch this is uh, much fun right we create our own app for our smartwatch and we display our name our text whatever we want so uh, it will be very cool to see our application which is running in our smartwatch so next we will see about my all-in-one app so here uh, uh, we will check the details of how to create the all-in-one app so as I have been already told that uh, everything will be written inside this program uh, program okay so my as I have already explained it so in, in all-in-one app I have five different functionality as first by default by display the text some text and uh, like welcome text and when we click the button each button each button will have different functionality so first button it will display the name some text animations and second button click it will display the date and time and third button click it will display the today's meeting so now it has been 8 a.m so for 8 a.m. I don't have any appointment so if we can see that in 8 a.m. we don't have appointment so it is not displaying any alert like that and next one we have the simple animation which will be displaying some uh, football game and next one we have some stopwatch okay 
so as i told you that i have been added the appointments in my resource file okay in string i have added like appointment one two three four five and here i have 7 am 1 pm all my appointment and uh, from the for the in text animation i will be display the text from the resource file so now here we can see 7 am uh, i have do no appointment for 8 am so what i will change is this 1 pm to 8 am uh, well, i will tell us meeting okay if i save this and if i run the same program we can see that at 8 am there will be a lot rectangle image and also it will display the underbar at the 8, 8 am meeting so when i run this here we can see it display the 8 am meeting with alert okay so because this is to be current happening so this is to alert the uh, person as now you have the meeting so go and attend it and now in program uh, uh, as i explained i have been using all the functionality and i have been using the timer to do the animations so i have been using so uh, say so one timer to pe perform all my operations so like now example uh, for the display the date and time and to display the uh, current happening let us today's plan appointment and to display the text animation and to display the football animation game and to display the uh, stopwatch so first i will declare all the variable to be used in the program and next one uh, in main program so we created the window and from window in text we display the name for the welcome message and in the uh, say main window we create the timer okay and we create for the time timer for timer we create the uh, 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 event for every second to run our uh, each functionality and in button click what i did is i will check for each button number if it is 38 it is to display the name and if it is 41 to display the uh, date and time uh, if it is 40 to display the appointment and if it is 37 to display the football animation game and if it is uh, 39 i will display the uh, stopwatch okay so in this one in timer i will check for each button click number if it is 41 38 37 and 39 i will call the each function so in each function i write separate uh, code for uh, to display each functionality so in my article we will check all this code explanation in detail so here every time I will clear the screen and I will add that different functionality and uh, if we run this program it will display the our all-in-one application in our smartwatch or in emulator so I hope you all like this and uh, if you have any questions you can ask me in the article comment okay thank you thank you for watching have a good day